Hello there. So, a semester of my PhD has come to a close, and there are a few things that I learned the hard way, which I thought I can share with people. Most of these things might just be stuff that you already know, and you are just waiting to hear it again from someone. So I'm here to give you a little push. Also, don't mind this toner curve in the background. First off, noting stuff down. This comes in various parts because you should note a lot of things down. Firstly, let's talk about calendars. This can be noting down important deadlines, dates, appointments, even your class timings. So once you have put things down in a calendar, make sure they are in one single place. So having everything in one place would ensure that if something new comes up, you know where it can fit in a schedule. Part two, start important emails. Flagging or starting is a super useful thing that I did not do until very late. So you can start emails when they arrive and you can unstar them when you're done with them. It's better to star important emails and then forget to unstar them rather than just forgetting that an important email exists. If you ever think, oh, I'll remember this, then your brain, your whole nervous system is lying to you. So you can always note whatever pops into your head. This can be notes during a talk, notes about an idea that you have, and even the notes that you take in class. You're taking notes not for your present self, but for your future self, and your future self will not remember a lot. Also, it's very important to make sure that you remember where you took the note. You can solve this by having a dedicated notes app or having a notepad if you are a Neanderthal. If you can't find a note, it's practically useless. A note lost is worth nothing. Ask for extensions on your assignments. Most professors would be willing to give you one because that shows that at least you are trying. And the feeling after you get an extension is pretty great. So the reasoning behind an extension is it's better to do good work than to submit early and do sloppy work. Your professors actually know that and asking for an extension is at least giving the impression that you're putting in effort and not just half-assing your assignments. It shows that you care. Have a reading list. So whenever you come across an article or a paper that you want to read but you don't have time for, you can just shove it into your reading list. Personally, I maintain a reading list for articles, papers, and blogs, and a separate one for books. I mostly just write the name of the article, the author's name sometimes, and the link along with it. But you're also free to add a little bit of description so that you remember why you actually put that article on a reading list. Also, as no one's watching, you are not obligated to finish reading those articles. Except me. I'm always watching you. Another thing. Hydrate yourself. I am not kidding. Go drink water. That brain of yours needs water. You can check that by moving your head around and it will make a splashing sound. Dude. What? That doesn't happen to anyone. Oh. On a similar note, make sure you're eating properly, sleeping properly, and taking care of your hygiene. These are all super important, and if you're doing these properly, this will reflect on how well you do in your school. I know these are the hardest thing to actually achieve in this video, and these are changes that will not happen in a day. But just be mindful of if you are compromising on these things for school is quite important. So how do you hydrate yourself? Well, just keep a bottle next to you. And the thing I read was, you can snack on water. So whenever you feel like you should go eat something small, you can just drink a bunch of water. And another piece of advice, which is mostly social, is to ask your friends out. Not in a date way. Or in a date way. Anyway, go to your friends or the people in your department and ask if they want to get like a, take like a 20 minute break and get lunch or something. And just going out of this office area and just going outside for a while will help you refresh. And if you want hints on how to do it, here's a tutorial. So I asked some of her friends who also have completed a semester and if they had any advice. Turns out they did. First up, yes, coursework is super important, but you're also not just a student anymore. And so if you want to say continue in academia or even outside, then it's important to build a network and step into the community. Along with the coursework, you should also go to conferences, attend seminars, and maybe step into research to see what it's like. For conferences and seminars, you can just Type in your field name, 
whichever field you are interested in, and just type conferences in front of it in Google, and there will be results. You'll find something. There are also a lot of online conferences, so you don't even have to travel. If there are conferences where you have to travel, graduate students are almost always funded. Final piece of advice which comes from my friend, which is also like super abstract, but also very, very important. Do not be afraid to jump into things. Do not be afraid to ask questions, approach your professors, or just saying stuff in class. It's okay to be wrong. And this is basically all I had. If you have any advice, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I also need a lot. I know this video was a little all over the place, but I'm trying stuff out and let's see how it goes. The format of this video was sort of inspired by Nathan of the channel Chalk, and he does like really good content, so you should check him out. Uh, and in that vein, I might do a PhD update sometime where I just talk about my experiences. Let me know if you're interested in that. So that's all. Good luck on your journey. Bye.